Good morning. There is a U.S. regulation called Section 321. Section 321 is particular to e-commerce orders and shipments. And under the rules for the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, these Section 321 shipments are exempt from tariffs if they are valued at less than $800. And international companies and buyers are using this rule to avoid extra tariffs involved in moving products into the U.S. market. It was referenced in a press release by Maersk. Maersk is a giant uh, global transport company. And Maersk has just set up a new 30,000 square meter distribution center in Tijuana to handle a lot of this business. And they referenced it in the third, uh, fourth paragraph, sorry, of their press release on 21 March. This center will be used for fulfillment operations for Section 321 orders, e-commerce orders for shipment into the United States. This procedure is definitely one of the important causes for China's boom in exports to Mexico. Mexico was used to ship the products across the border into the United States. Uh, in January 24, for example, China sent 60% more shipping containers to Mexico compared to January 2023. So here is how the system works, and it's described right here. First, a U.S. customer will go on Amazon.com or another e-commerce site and buy something from a Chinese store there. Now, that seller may be uh, in Mexico already working for a Chinese company or here in China. If the product is in China now, it will be sent to Mexico, but more likely the product is already in Mexico and was sent over previously and maybe to the place that Maersk and other companies have set up near the Mexico border. Now in Mexico, each item is packaged individually and valued at under $800 so that the shipment qualifies for uh, entry into the United States duty free. This part is really important to be under $800. So for products that have several parts or components that can push the value over $800, it makes more sense to ship them in separate containers or separate boxes to spread out the value. And in these cases, the U.S. buyer will just do the final assembly himself. Now at the border, the shipment is subject to inspection by the U.S. Customs Authorities. So the barcode scans from the packages there confirm that they were ordered on Amazon, for example. So the shipment has an e-commerce exemption under Section 321. And so they qualify for expedited clearance, no tariff, because the value is under $800. Then, once across the border, they're usually sent to another distribution center or warehouse for last mile delivery to the buyer. A lot of the export boom from Mexico to the United States is actually China. And it's actually impossible to know exactly how much because of different transfer pricing used between the companies in China and the ones in Mexico. And there is a lot of motivation for everybody in China and in Mexico and in the United States to pretend that the trade volume isn't nearly as high as it really is. Uh, Mexico does not want U.S. policymakers to take a hard look at the actual origin of the products. Amazon certainly doesn't. The customers don't. And Chinese companies don't really either. But you can see some of it here. There's been a 31% increase in TEU volume. Uh, a TEU is a shipping container, 20 foot long. There's been a 31% increase in TEU volume going from China to the U.S. in the past three years, up 31%. But China to Mexico is up 134% since that same time. Tariffs create new markets. Sanctions create markets. Every time. Enjoy the weekend. Be good.